Hey guys and welcome to another Commodore 64 quick look video and uh, today we're going to take a look at a game that was recommended to me by my down under buddy Daz. It's Creatures 2 Torture Trouble published in 1992 by Thalamus. And I did recently check out Creatures 1 on the Atari ST but I've never played any uh, of the Creatures games on the Commodore 64. And I believe Thalamus actually folded shortly after the release of this game so there were no conversions to the Amiga or the ST or any other system sadly. And I do believe this is considered to be the kind of final really really good game that was released on the Commodore 64 or as one of my uh, viewers put it, it's the swan song for the Commodore 64. So it's time to enjoy and behold lots of furry little creatures being tortured. <laughs> so yeah, let's just dive in. <laughs> and Das did warn me that this game is uh, fairly tricky, shall we say. So yeah, I did prepare myself. I have, have played a couple of the levels just to try and figure stuff out. And yeah, it is quite tricky. It's like uh, more focused on, on puzzle solving. Uh, you know, lightweight puzzle solving than Creatures 1, at least on the ST version, that was more like a platform game. But this is a little bit more sneaky and need to figure stuff out. And I like this part of the intro here, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. C2, torture trouble. <laughs> bit of homage to uh, Terminator 2, I think. And here we have these kind of strange low-res graphics. I'm not sure why they do that, possibly to save memory, I think. Looks pretty cool still though, so... Uh, and yeah, we're still playing Clyde Radcliffe, the raddest cutie ever seen, since the 90s at least. And uh, yeah, this is a really nice looking game. Everything is very colourful and smooth and lush looking and it sounds great. Although after a bit the music makes me want to just jump through the window because it's a pretty tricky game and that constantly happy dappy tune in the background is slightly starting to drive you a little bit bonkers but don't worry I'm fine as always <laughs> let's just start up the game and just listen to this happy tune it just makes me want to puke <laughs> no it's really the music is really nice so just kidding so let's just dive in and let's have a look at what is going on here and uh, I have to save a fuzzy wuzzy that's about to be turned into a very red and sticky pancake just down below me by that Acme press. As you can see it's uh, making short work of those boulders and uh, that guy on the bike yeah he's uh, powering the uh, conveyor belt I presume and you can see there's a little lever behind him a very super low rest lever this took me a bit before I manage to notice that leave you. We need to shoot that and uh, save the fuzzy wuzzy. And he's about to show up in a while, so I think we're just going to wait a bit and enjoy some amazing 8-bit gore. <laughs> and here he comes. All completely helpless. I'm not sure why he doesn't just, you know, get up and um, save himself, but nope. So let's just enjoy this. <laughs> Save me? Yes, I will. Next time, don't worry. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You've got extra lives. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty gruesome, that. So let's try and play for real here. And save the poor Fuzzy Wuzzy. And the game is quite different, as I think I may have mentioned already, compared to the first one. Here it's... Um, it's not a continuously scrolling world. We need to just basically play a screen at a time and try to figure out uh, the solution to the, the puzzles. And uh, it's a bit tricky, I must say. In this uh, particular case, we need to take this bomb, go down here, and we can breathe some fire on it by holding the fire button, lighting it up and pushing it down there, and that should make a nice hole behind uh, Humpty and Dumpty down here. Those two guys, I'm not sure what they are doing. Looks like uh, they are enjoying an intimate moment, maybe? <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're doing the naughty down there, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure. What's going on? Let's not look too closely, shall we? Let's instead select uh, a different weapon here, because that flask we picked up gave us another weapon we can fire straight here which I really really appreciate 
So we're gonna murder these two guys. I'm sorry guys if I am interrupting something here. But it has to be done. And now we can go down here and... Oh, I'm taking too long, I think. Let's quickly shoot the lever. In the nick of time here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't squish him. Yeah, oh. Oh, and then I got hit by the bike. I forgot about that. But yeah, we need to jump this guy. <laughs> Otherwise, we, uh, we won't live to enjoy our victory. And we can actually light the bomb through the, the rock here. Which is interesting, but yeah, I guess that's that's good thing, right? But let's drop down it and try and not be surprised completely. I'm not sure if these rocks are gonna hurt me, but let's just not take any chances here. Come on, hit this super low res lever, please. There we go. Yeah, yeah, we should be fine. Let's jump this guy, and yes, we have saved our fuzzy wuzzy son. I I actually think that guy was one of our many, many sons. Hmm. So we get some bonus and stuff and we get to press fire and we get to play an interlude screen, which is uh, basically... What's that game and watch called? Ambulance maybe or something? We get to bounce these little fuzzy wuzzies and try and save them. It's honestly not my favorite part of the game. I find it to be a little bit boring, to be perfectly honest, and annoying. The controls are a little bit, uh, you know, wonky. You get used to them because you don't actually move the guys down here in, in high res or however I, sh I should pronounce it because, oops, I was a bit carried away there. And yeah, you get to enjoy the, the bloody mess that was um, that guy was turned into. <laughs> But we need to save eight of these guys and let's just quickly do that. I'm not going to force you to watch all of this because it's not that much fun, as I said, and the way it controls, just to clarify that, it's one brief click on the joystick or, or the keys here will move these guys quite much farther than I expect. So it's, it's a little bit tricky controlling, but you do get used to it. But yeah, I'm just going to do this, get this done, and uh, not going to force you to watch because, yeah, again, it's not that much fun, in my opinion. And we can, of course, get these bonus coins if we feel like it, but that's going to require a lot of finagling and we're going to have to bounce more than one of these guys around and no, I don't feel like that. Also, the big fat bird bastard up there is sometimes going to grab one of the fuzzy fuzzies and really? Oh, balls. Yeah, he's, he's got to grab one of the fuzzies and um, return him. So you're going to have to save him again, and that's that's not fun. Just one more guy to save, and we can carry on to a more interesting screen. Time bonus! Yes, that's amazing. Let's just uh, move on here to stage three. Torture screen number two. It's no problem and this one is it took me a bit to figure out it's yeah we're gonna have to move this rock see if I can get this done don't don't hold your breath move it over here wait for the silly old owl down there to be in a specific position like right now and then we can ah oh, no I missed I'm gonna have to land on top of the owl and get back up on top and move the boulder again and it's not entirely easy um, and I tried falling down over here on top of the owl. That doesn't work. Nope, it doesn't. We need to do it like this. And then we need to waggle the stick, get up here and quickly push the boulder in here. And that's not always easy. Oh man, don't. And yes, the guy in the balloon is going to be a prick and hurt me if I don't watch out. So let's see if we can get this done. Get this silly rock. Oh, man. Oh, you silly, silly rock. Yeah, this one is... It's not super complicated once you know how to know how to do it, but it's a little bit tricky at times. Ah, oh, really? Yes, let's get out of the way. And as you can see, the guy below is going to get <laughs> squished. Oh, yeah, I killed myself didn't mean to do that but I did realize I need to show you what happens to the fuzzy wuzzy 
if we fail. So let's do that before we do this again or attempt this again. Thankfully, I have saved some snapshots here to make this a little bit easier. So let's just wait a bit up here. And after a bit, there's going to be a snowball falling down and this guy is going to chuck it down into that pool of water. It's going to melt and the uh, water level rises. But why? Why would that hurt the fuzzy wuzzy? Yeah, you can see there's a crocodile down there. <laughs> I just love this. This is brilliant. So let's just wait a little bit longer while this guy is stressing me out. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yes, this might be spe spell the end of my son here. Oh yeah, oh god, he's bleeding like a pig. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, oh man, but I do believe he's still alive. No, he's not. I think he bled out now. So that's just, just a brilliantly evil contraption that. So let's see if we can actually solve this screen. I think we need to use our fire breath to really get this rock going here. So we squash that poor fellow, whoever he is. And there is actually secret. Oh yeah, I missed it. There's a secret passageway. If you go to the right, just go down in the uh, where the uh, the rock went down. You can actually go to the right, and there's a secret bonus level, which I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and see if I can show you. Hang on, let's try and get this bird as far away from me as possible. That should make this a little bit easier, I think. Jump and fall down, and then go to the right, and no, doesn't seem to work. Uh, no, I don't think I got that to work. I'm not sure what you need to do. Maybe you need to fire or something, but yeah, you can go to the right. It's basically just a bonus stage where you collect things and get bonus points. Ah, uh, frozen frolics, eh? Yeah, I need to save more of these damn kids. I mean, yeah, it's... I mean, the graphics are really lovely. Really lush and colourful smooth it really looks great it's got that interesting look as well it's a combination of low res and high res sprites i suppose that's for technical reasons but yeah it's really is a very nice looking commodore 64 game and it's also quite fun apart from maybe this bit but that's probably just me oh i still kind of screw up the controls i don't understand how that's possible but i make it possible so yeah don't worry so let's just carry on with the next, uh, but it's not a torture screen, this is a demon screen and I haven't really finished this one. It's basic, you need to fight that, whatever that is, an owl, by kicking these poor, whatever they are, into these things to the left and right, and then they will fly up and uh, hopefully hit this thing in the face, I'm not entirely sure. What is going on here? Who cares? It's fun. And I got hit there? Really? Hmm, I thought I was out of the way. I don't know how many hits this thing is going to require. Probably about a million or something. And again, Acme is the manufacturer of these contraptions here. Amazing stuff. <laughs> Leave me alone. Go away, you silly owl. Please just die. Show some respect for me and my entire family of weird critters here. Oh, he's flashing. That's probably a good thing, right? Come on. Hit. Ah. Oh. I wonder if these things are part of my family. Hope not. I hope my relatives can forgive me for kicking them. It's a little bit tricky, but I mean, it's not super hard. I mean, the tricky part is hitting this thing. Oh, gotcha. All right, this is as far as I got before, so uh, I have no idea what happens now. Uh, apparently I can... Oh no, there's a bigger... Uh, that's not an owl. <laughs> He's larger, which is good, I suppose. It's much, much easier to hit, I presume. But damn, he's... Is he peeing on me? No, he's not right. That's the wrong color, I hope. Oh man, there's an annoying... Paused like an animation cooldown um, when you kick, so it's a little bit tricky getting out of the way, I find. And this guy is super fast. Please just stop existing in my life. 
Okay, we can get this done, right? I'm, I bet it's gonna get even larger. I'm pretty sure. No, no. No, no, no. Oh, man, it's... Yeah, that kind of cooldown, that pause is rather annoying. But yeah, let's uh, let's try this one more time. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This is fun and sadistical. <laughs> it's, uh, again, pretty tricky. But maybe I should try and keep my eye on the big, angry, flying monstrosity up there and not be so busy looking at my feet. He seems to have a pretty set pattern here. Looks like he's dropping those drops <laughs> uh, in the same spots, maybe? Yeah, I haven't played this for very long, so I haven't really observed what's going on here. Maybe I can just try and... Yeah, this looks like he's always taking a leak in the same position here. Okay, this is going reasonably well. It's a little bit tricky hitting these guys. Just made another snapshot. Oh, dear sweet Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. A mental bat. Well, never mind. Let's see if we can annihilate this thing. Please. He's like... If I stay underneath him in the middle, I think I should be maybe fine. He's really fast, though. And my little projectile buddies are never in the right spot. But he's huge, so it shouldn't be too hard hitting him, right? No! Oh, I was invincible. Good. I'm going to try and have to learn to only kick once. Otherwise, I might get stuck thanks to the cooldown, the animation cooldown there. Now, this is quite fun. I mean, yeah, it's really enjoyable. I think I've said that already, but I'm just into the game. I can't come up with anything more clever to say. <laughs> As you all know, recording and playing is not always that easy. I'm just going to be quiet and try and focus on kicking these meatballs. Oh yeah, take it, you ugly, vile thing. I got another power up there, I think. Let's see what's up next. Is it one of those, uh... Oh yeah, the bouncy bits. Oh no, it's... Oh, this is a scrolling stage. All right, um... Whoop. Not sure what to do. Collect the coins, maybe? Okay. Let's try it. Blowfish? Yeah, you blow, all right. Buddy, you blow. Maybe this is some sort of bonus stage. It's a little bit easier than the rest, I suppose. Can I get up here? Let's see if I can jump up. No, I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't. Don't hurt me too bad. Can I get out? I could. All right, lovely. How do I... Hmm, not sure what to do here, to be perfectly honest. Can I maybe jump out somehow? Oh, I was trying to change my weapon for some reason, but yeah, not sure what to do there, to be perfectly honest. I think I made a bit of a discovery. We can get these fuzzy wuzzies to come down into the water, I think, by doing this. And we can carry him. Okay, this makes this a little bit more... Complica okay, okay. Oh, I need to chuck him on onto the island, I presume. Can I do that without being eaten by that freaking fish? No, no, no. Yeah, okay, we're going to ignore the bonus points because who needs them, right? Come on down here. Yes. Just come over here, lazy git. No, 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 no. Really? Oh, balls. And I just realized we have to save three of these guys. Oh, Christmas balls. This is going to be a little bit tricky, me thinks. But I'm going to give it at least one more attempt because I feel like it. Oh, you blowing bastard fish thingy. I confused the guys on the, uh, on the shore with extra lives. That's why I didn't try to save them initially, I believe. So well, let's see if we can maybe, just maybe, 
get this done. Let's just go... So I can... No, I need to get past this annoying little bouncy fella. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Get up there. Don't... Don't bite me. Come on, let's get up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Yay, we saved one and then we have to do three more. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I think. I'm gonna give it one more stab and then I think I'll call it quits. Uh, did that guy just commit suicide or something? Oh, did I run out of time? I'm not sure. Anyway, I've been playing for half an hour and I could probably keep playing for a very long time. So I'm just going to call it quits and we're going to have a look at a couple of reviews of this game. And I think practically everyone just loved this game. SAP gave it a gold medal award and uh, they write, I guarantee you'll be playing Creatures 2 until all of Clyde's children have been rescued. Creatures 2 is even better than the original. If this isn't the best game of 92, I'll eat the Score Lord's mask. And the other reviewer wrote, It's colourful, fast and gruesome, but what a laugh. This is highly recommended for real bloodthirsty evil individuals. And yes, I really love the bloodthirsty aspect of the game myself. Commodore Format called it a corker and they gave it an overall of 90% and they wrote, if you're an arcade junkie who's looking for action with greater depth than the usual shoot 'em ups or if you're a puzzle partisan that craves a bit more action, Creatures 2 is one buy you'll keep coming back to for a long time. But if you're just a sick-minded individual that likes to see blood, guts, gore and little furry animals on spits, Creatures 2 is an essential addition to your collection. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick peek at Creatures 2 Torture Troubles and uh, thanks for watching and all that stuff. And of course, as always, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers.